But if we say that all of these challenges are overwhelming for our farmers, that we can't farm to a particular extent. Like, the question is just, Ukraine is the, like one of the biggest suppliers of grain in the world. Can't we achieve that feat as a people, as a country? Can it, can't we achieve the feat, that particular feat of being, you know, supplying a particular product to the world in that amount? You know, contributing like quarter of what the world consumes when it comes to grain. You know, that's the question. But with all of these challenges, can we say, are we going to say that all the insecurity, all of the challenges we just counted now, insecure, all of them, are we going to say that it is overwhelming for our farmers? Can we improve our technique in farming? Can we say, Okay, can we improve that? Okay, we know that so so and so we have improved in farming so so and so that we can actualize, you know? <laughs> these are the things I'm looking at now. But with all these challenges, if we say that it is overwhelming for our farmers, Chinese firms don't think that these challenges are good enough to say that, okay, uh, we can farm in Nigeria. They, are, they now acquire lands in Nigeria to farm. Farmers grown as Chinese firm grabs land in northern Nigeria. Undo cocoa farmers accuse government of selling farmlands to Chinese company without their consent. You know? And Nigeria is not the only place China is doing this. China is also doing this in other African countries as well. So, is it better to give the lands to them so that they will do the farming and we will do the middle whatsoever, be in the middle of selling it. But another question is, if China should do that, the proceed of their farming, where does it go to? Nigeria be China. That's another one. <laughs> we made a report last year. Uh, remember that this is true report on Ebon at the 103.5 FM. You know, here, we must offer you a, a report. And here is a report we made last year about palm fruit. When we get back, I will tell you a little bit of what Malaysia is doing with palm fruit currently. Uh, take a listen as the report continues to unfold. The current global challenge of COVID-19 and the current security challenges in the country might not be the only determinant to constant inflation of prices of goods and services. Unregulated price fixing of commodities also plays a big role in creating chains of inflation in the country as the Naira depreciation have been blamed on a couple of factors. Here is the thought of a group of Nigerians on unregulated price fixing of palm food as a commodity. <laughs> Meanwhile, the current asking price for two bunches of farm fruit by local vendors from farmers in their ward is currently the price for half painter of farm fruit is at the cost of 800 naira or more as a finished product for final consumers, which could be a driver or civil servant who cannot easily inflate their own prices too. From Afromnodi, Martin Ifan Shuku Gregory reporting.
So there you have it. Can I no call now? Ha. That report right there remains a very vital uh, material for research, you know, uh -huh. you know, for students, for anybody who wants to venture into research, that material helps, it enables, it enables. Now, um, let me tell you what Malaysia is doing with palm fruit, you know, that palm fruit now. Uh, in 2020, their palm fruit industry was estimated to be 36.87 billion. You know, in their own money, Malaysian ringgit. You know, uh -huh. that's how much they are doing with the palm fruit. <laughs> So the question remains, are we doing enough as a people? Can you wear, you know, one organic? You know, how do we get to the level? You know, how do we get to the level? Nagasana, a country like the way Ukraine see now supply almost quarter of what the world consumes when it comes to grain. You know, can't we get to that level? And I'm saying this with all the challenges that we have on board now, you know, a whole lot of things that is happening in the Ukraine war, a whole lot of things, uh, the rise, uh, the high cost of dollar to Naira and every other thing, you know? Uh -huh. Remember that this is a trade report on Ebona, the 103.5 FM, you know, I am Martin Epan Shuku AKZ as a number the force, you know, let's dance more. When we get back, I will open the phone lines so you get to tell me what you think about this particular one. It will always be, street reports will always be about the hardcore stuff, the real deal, you know, that tough situation that we have to talk about. This is what we must do here. So if you do have an input on what we are talking about today, basically, how can we improve when it comes to farming in, a, in order to produce more food as a nation, as a people, you know, irrespective of the, the challenges. Yeah, those challenges we complain about, Chinese people are not bothered about it and they are grabbing land in Undo and other places to start the same farming that you and I were supposed to do in order to produce. So that's the question. True report will continue to unfold with this song. Sit back, relax and enjoy as true report continues to unfold. I'll be back.